guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be showing you the best way to exfoliate and moisturize your legs to get smooth and flawless skin if you are prone to razor bumps razor burns dry skin strawberry skin cellulite then the average body lotion from the drugstore is just not gonna save your skin but the routine and products that I'm gonna be showing you guys in this video both DIY and store-bought are going to give you the smoothest skin of your life and by the way as usual everything that I use in this video will be linked in the description down below before we get started if you're new to my channel hello my name is Audrey I share all of my top beauty tips and tricks in my videos so if you guys want to see more content make sure you subscribe and also you can follow me over on Instagram at Audrey Victoria X now without further ado if you want to see how to exfoliate and moisturize your legs perfectly then just keep on watching the first step of my exfoliation and moisturization is that even a word routine is to wash my legs using the Mario Badescu AHA botanical body soap this body soap is made to smooth and brighten your skin so it is perfect for this routine and also it is okay to use this on a daily basis all I do is when I'm in the shower I just take a little bit on my hand usually like a quarter size per leg and I'll just massage it on my leg and I will sing the ABC song in my head as I am massaging it on my leg. I read online that that gives your skin enough time to reap the benefits of a soap like the Botanical Body Soap. Also, I make sure to always use lukewarm water. When I'm in the shower, I never shower with super hot water because that can actually make your skin even more dry. So if you're dealing with a rough and bumpy skin on your legs, you wanna stay far away from hot water. The next step is a big one and that is exfoliation. There are so many exfoliants that you can find online and at the drugstore. One of my favorite brands for an exfoliant is Tree Hut, but the truth is that nothing comes close to how well a DIY exfoliant works on your skin. And the best DIY exfoliant, hands down, has just two ingredients that we all probably have in our pantry, olive oil and coffee. To make it, all I do is mix some olive oil and coffee together, and I always make this fresh when I'm gonna use it, so I never store this just because I'm not sure how long it would last. So all I do to apply it is after I've washed my legs in the shower, I just massage the body scrub on my legs just the same way that I rubbed the body soap on my legs. And in addition to leaving your skin super smooth, the coffee in the coffee and olive oil body scrub actually helps to reduce the appearance of cellulite because it helps to increase blood flow to the surface of your skin. Allegedly, the results are only temporary. It doesn't really matter to me because that's just an added benefit. The main thing that it does is really, really smooth out your skin. The next step is to shave, and this can really make or break your smooth skin routine. So I'm gonna list a few mistakes that a lot of people make when it comes to shaving that can actually cause really irritated skin so first of all if you are using a razor that is either dull or that has too few blades on it then you could be left with stubble and even razor bumps or ingrown hairs and then also if your razor is too sharp or if it has too many blades on it then that can leave you with cuts and razor burns also if you are using shaving cream that can really dry out your skin and can definitely make your skin really rough and bumpy and can leave you with cuts and I don't know, I've just had a really bad experience with shaving cream. Similarly, if you use something like oil, which I've seen a lot of people talk about online how well it works for shaving, the issue is that it will clog your razor and then that could lead to ingrown hairs, that could lead to not getting the closest shave. So I have a remedy for both of those mistakes that a lot of us are making. First of all, the razors that I use are the Bixole razors and you guys have heard me talk about those so much. I seriously should be sponsored at this point, but I'm not. I have been using these razors since I was in high school and I found that these razors are the best of both worlds. So they're sharp and they have enough blades to get the job done, but they're not too sharp and they're also not too dull. It's just perfect. I know that that's like a really weird way to explain it, but 
It is the perfect razor in my opinion. Of course, everyone's skin is gonna be different, so there may be a better razor for you. You could have incredibly sensitive skin, in which case you may not be able to shave at all. It's definitely worth it to give them a try. They are amazing. And then also, this is huge. I shave using conditioner. So as I said, a lot of people shave using shaving cream or oil and both of those things are a no-no. So conditioner helps to smooth your legs, but it also helps to smooth the hairs. So that way when you're shaving, it is not super abrasive and you don't get any cuts, you're not left with any stubble, no razor burns, no razor bumps, no ingrown hairs. Conditioner is my biggest hack when it comes to shaving. I just use Suave Conditioner. I found that like it doesn't really matter the brand. As long as it's a conditioner, you're good to go. And also I shave in the opposite direction from which the hair grows. And the reason why I do that is because that gives me the closest shave. So if I shave with the hair growth and I'm left with stubble and my skin is not smooth. The next step is a little unconventional and that is to apply jojoba oil on your skin in the shower. Putting jojoba oil on your legs while you're in the shower and you have the warm water running over your body, that's going to help to increase the moisture into your skin and it's going to make your skin look even more glowy, hydrated, and moisturized. Also, although I recommend jojoba oil and you can order it via a link in the description of this video if you're interested, you can also just use olive oil, which I feel like a lot of us have in our kitchen. That works just as well when applied on your body in the shower. Step five is to use a cellulite massager in the shower after you've applied jojoba oil. So this is my cellulite massager. It's a brush to use in the shower and on the other side, side this is what I use to massage my cellulite. So I do have cellulite on the back of my thighs, like up close to my bum. So allegedly cellulite massagers only give you short-term results. So don't expect any like long-term permanent changes from this massager. Having said that, it is super relaxing and I just like to use it in the shower. So even though I know I'm not gonna, you know, get rid of all of my cellulite using it, it does make me feel good about myself when I get out of the shower and I see that my skin looks super smooth. The next step is all about body lotion. So as I said at the beginning of this video, the average body lotion from the drugstore is not going to save your skin. So if you are looking at that like $3 suave body lotion in the lotion section at Target, do not choose that lotion. There are other options out there and I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite DIY body butter recipe, which in my opinion tops anything sold at at the drugstore, high-end store, anything like that. So this is where my DIY body butter comes into play. So to make this body butter, which yes, this is going to smooth out your skin like never before, and it's just incredible. So to make this, you need shea butter and jojoba oil. So I just take some shea butter and I put it into a bowl, and then I do about two tablespoons of jojoba oil, and I use a hand mixer to mix all of that together. and it leaves this whipped consistency that looks like super thick whipped cream. I do store this in a little mason jar and it lasts me about two weeks. But if you guys are not into DIY things and you just wanna go to the store and buy something for yourself, I have two alternatives for you. So the first alternative is the CeraVe lotion for rough and bumpy skin. So this lotion is intended, as it says, to smooth out rough and bumpy skin. So if your skin is super dry, inflamed, irritated, then this is definitely gonna help you. It's not gonna moisturize your legs as much as my DIY body 
body butter, but it will do a really good job, especially if you have razor bumps, I've found. And also my favorite body lotion from the drugstore, I need to go grab it because I don't know the exact name. This is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Daily Skin Therapy with Vitamin E. This is seriously the only body lotion that I have found that you can buy at the drugstore that will smooth out your skin no matter what. Just some anecdotal evidence of how amazing this is. I used to work at a childcare center. If you have worked in a daycare before, you know that you're constantly washing your hands. So because of that in the winter, my skin would get super, super dry and cracked and so would everyone else's. So people would literally come into our room to use this lotion because it was so good. Like the teachers would come in and use it. From people who wash their hands a million times a day, this lo- <laughs> This lotion is amazing. So my next step after using the body butter is to wear leggings. Now what this does is it helps to seal in all of the moisture that is on my legs so that way when I'm going into bed like the moisture doesn't rub off on the sheets and it just gives my skin time to absorb all of the nice hydration that I have just provided it. Now I don't sleep in leggings. I usually like to just sleep in a really big t-shirt or just shorts and like a sports bra or something or a nursing bra since I'm nursing. So I usually take off the leggings about an hour after I have applied the body butter because yes, it does get super thick. So trust me, you're not going to want to lay in your bed with your legs covered in that body butter. Um, an hour is usually enough time to let my skin fully reap all of the benefits of the body butter and all of the moisturization and hydration and stuff like that. Now, before I close out this video, I just want to address a question that I know a lot of people are going to have and that is do I do this on a daily basis? The routine that I just explained to you is my in-depth like serious routine and then I also have an abridged version that I do more on a daily basis. The routine that I just explained to you can be used on a daily basis but as you guys can tell it is in-depth and for example I don't shave every day but my shorter version or just like my quicker version would be to use the botanical body soap. Get out of the shower, apply the body butter or the Palmer's cocoa butter lotion, and then put leggings on. So that's my super quick routine if I'm like in a rush, especially now that I have a baby, I have to do things a lot quicker. Um, but if I'm really dealing with some crazy dry skin or some razor bumps or something like that, then the routine that I just explained to you is my go-to until all of that resolves. All right, guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my routine, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to see more content. Like this video if you liked it. You can also give it a thumbs down if you didn't like it so that I know how you're feeling my videos, I guess. And then also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you and I'll talk to you guys next time.